Hi guys, today I'm going to look at creating a few different types of uh, lined pages to use for journal pages using Canva. You could print these up yourself or you could use them for a KDP low content book or however you like. I'm just going to experiment and find some ways to create lined pages, dotted pages and square graph pages. Um, so let's go. First let's go to create a design and uh, I'll just do custom size 8 by 11 and a half inches and here we are with a blank page so uh, if we want to put lines in we can go to elements go to line and uh, you could have dotted lines you could have uh, let's see all here lines with ends on them, or boxes, arrows, there's a few different options here. And once you've got the line that you want, I'll just go with a plain line for now, you can come over here, you can change the color to anything you want, and the thickness, so oh, you can also make it dotted here, rounded ends or not. The line weight, which is the thickness of the line. So you can have it very thin like that. I like thinner lines, just enough to keep you writing in a straight line. So I'll just delete these ones for now. You can use your guides up here to determine where you want to stop and start the line. If you drag from across the side here, and say you want the line to start there and we'll drag again if you want the line to stop here so we can measure it on there and we can remove those side lines those measuring lines um, later on so let's say we want to measure also how far down we want to start and let's say an inch down so we'll put this on that inch line and then just duplicate. I'll just duplicate a few and then I'm going to select those and duplicate those. That way we're duplicating more at a time. You can see how many there are. Now that's a lot of lines we've got there. So I'm just going to take this bottom one down to here. Um, if I wanted to measure, I could bring down a, a line to make sure I'm on the right track. It's wherever you want it to be. So I'm just going to drag that back up off the page and it's gone. I'm going to drag this one now. It's gone. So to get these lines to divide themselves equally in these spaces, I'm just going to select them all and um, go to position and go to where it says space evenly here and press tidy up. So now they're in line above each other and equally in line and I can just put it back up to that top measuring line we had and there we've got plenty of lined pages exactly where we want them to be. Uh, you could also if you wanted to measure an exact um, space between the lines you could use your starting line and your ending line and get the exact right number of lines to fill in that space at let's say half an inch or whatever else you'd want. So there you go, a simple lined page. We'll just take these purple marker lines off, just drag them off the page. If you want to change the color, select them all, go to the color and change it to what you want. Um, I like to add like a section for the date up here so I just make a, a small line and uh, might just duplicate this one and spin it around to create a diagonal make it shorter put it up here um, I don't want it to exactly touch that line just give me a second to move it about. 
Okay, that's being tricky with me, so I'm going to use the arrow keys to, to move it around. And duplicate it. And I'll use the arrow keys again to, I just have to click off and click back on it. It's best to write the date up there. And you're done. Okay, so I'm going to try a similar thing for a gridded page. Um, I'm going to get a solid line, make it quite thin. Uh, so the weight will do maybe two this time. And uh, let's see, I would like it to be, uh, yes, half inch spacing. So we'll need approximately 22 lines here. Um, and I'm guessing about 15 lines here. Let's try it out. I'm going to go make this a long line, duplicate it. So we've now got two, three, four, five, uh, and we'll duplicate all of those, duplicate, bring them down, uh, duplicate, 15, 20, and we're going for 22, so we'll just select two of these, duplicate, and select them all, go to position, tidy up, oops, okay. Firstly, I need to get the bottom one where I want it and the top one where I want it. So click off it, get this top line at the half an inch mark. And we'll use that purple line, bring it down to the half inch down here. Bring the bottom line to that point then we can select them all and position, tidy up. There we go, that should be half inch, half inch spacing. Then we'll grab one of these lines, duplicate it, turn it 90 degrees, pull it down so it's beyond the page, track it straight, 90 degrees. Um, and how many did we say? 15. So duplicate. So we've got three, four, five. Select them all. Duplicate, duplicate. We'll use the measuring thing here. Get the first one to line up with it. Well, sometimes it can be a bit tricky. I'll just grab any of them and bring it to be the first one. And then bring that measuring line again over to here. Bring one of these out to that line. And then we'll select, only, make sure you select only these lines and not the, the horizontal lines. Um, and go to position and tidy up. There we go. Perfectly gridded page. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out how many lines you need to make it all equal. So now I'm going to try make a dotted page. So I'm just going to think for a second. I think it will be a very similar process. So I'm going to need a dot in essentially everywhere that these corners meet, I want to create a dot instead. Um, so I will, maybe I'll try a dotted line and see if that can spread out that far. Uh, what happens if we spread this out? No, it just becomes a longer line. Okay. We might do that. We'll try a circle. So I'm going to search circle. And 
I'm going to create a very small circle. Hmm. That's the smallest I can get. Okay. Let me think. I must be able to create a dot. Okay, writing. Text. So, let's add a text box. Up here, add a text box. Um, okay, this is going to be a bit hard for you guys to see, so I'm going to grab some of these lines and um, take down the transparency so we can just see them, but not so much. And I'll bring this up here and make it a brighter color and maybe a larger text. Now, all I'm trying to do here is find a circle, so I'm thinking the full stop, or uh, as you guys might say, a period. Uh, so if we do a few of those in a row, then select them and go to spacing, letter spacing, spread it out as far as we can. And that's still not very far apart. What if we uh, put a space in between each one? Now that might be just a bit too much of a gap. We don't have a lot of control over it either. Yeah, the spacing is just not quite right. So maybe we could um, try the line spacing instead and just create a new line for each one. We might have a bit more, um, a bit more ability to control the line spacing. It would be good if I could see it. And I'll go off and on. Line spacing. Okay. Bring it over here so we can see it a bit better. There's a bit more control in the spacing. And I'd say we've nearly got it there. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I might just uh, bring that in a little and keep on going. Might just make it a teensy bit more. That's pretty good. So if we get that, using our grid lines that we've already created, um, if we copy that, so uh, right click and duplicate, 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 and then we'll, um, I'll use shift to select it so that I don't accidentally select anything I don't want. And I'll use up here to duplicate and duplicate. So let's grab each one and put it where we want it. That should want to line up pretty well. We could also use the um, the tidy up tool, but you'd have to select each one with the shift key anyway, and this is not that much slower. So I'm just, there we go, that's pretty good. And we just need to get rid of all of these lines without selecting any of the dots. Hopefully that we've done that, yep. And all of these lines. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that circle we created earlier. Um, I'm going to have to send this to the back uh, layer. Send backward because I need to reach that circle. There you go. 
dotted grid. And of course you could change the size of it to whatever you want. I think that uh, starting off with the lined grid was very helpful. Okay, I hope you guys like that and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.